All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here tonight on a Friday night to watch the Marion Harding Presidents play the Scots of Highland. I'm Todd Schneider, and with me is the guy who has been carrying the banner all year <laughs> of these broadcasts. Um, I don't think you've missed one yet. Maybe, maybe no, I've missed a couple. You've missed a couple. Um, <laughs> I've missed way more than I've wanted to. You had good reason, though. But uh, I want to thank you for carrying the banner, but it's good to ride with you again tonight and happy to bring uh, this to uh, everyone tonight. So uh, thoughts about this game real quick for the tip-off here. Well, you know, Harding had really had their way with them uh, December 14th, beating Highland by 16. Uh, I know uh, Harding's coming off a tough loss against Shelby, losing by nine points. And, uh, and you know, really – Highland's gone 6-9, and nine, uh, three and 3-6 in the conference. They just beat up on Danville, which is a Division 5 or 6 school. So, eh, Highland's had some struggles, and, and Harding's hungry. So, I am predicting a pretty solid victory for the Praxis tonight. Well, I know Highland started off the season kind of rough, but they've won some more games as of late. But you are right. Harding had their way with them earlier, but... There's a lot of stuff that can happen between uh, early December and late January. Lots and of stuff. Can I just point out how odd it is that Jordan Bellamy's jersey is a different one than the other ones? Number 10. <laughs> it is. You're and right. He's fifth in scoring in the conference, and he, I don't know, something happened to his jersey. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it, is a, it is a skosh Rather, different there, it, sir. <laughs> the, at least it's not Comic Sans font. Yeah, the numbers, yeah, now that you mention it, you're right. The numbers are a uh, little more blocky and less Ooh. round. Oh, uh, it caught him for tra a travel. Yeah, travel by Riley. He picked up his foot before he uh, okay. took the dribble. Right. Actually, he kind of did a stutter step, and yeah, I think he kind of wanted to go left and realized the one there, so caught him off guard. Dinked when he should have dunked, huh? That's right. And uh, by the way, you know, Harding is 7-2 uh, in the conference losing that tough game against Shelby. So they're still in the running. They're not out of a conference uh, conversation, but uh, they have something to prove here, especially tonight. Well, and, and I know you look at Harding's record and you see, and you see, you know, one more win than they have losses, but really their losses have all been out of conference and they've been to some tough opponents and they've been close games. Yeah. Nobody has really blown these guys out of the water. The closest I think anybody came was, Upper Sandusky just kind of went on a little bit of a run late in the game when Harding played him uh, not too long ago. Yes. Oh, turnover by Harding. Yeah, Wes kind of, he should have probably just stopped. He was surrounded yeah. by three times. Yeah, absolutely. He just stop and, ooh. Yeah, pushed out by Wes. That's a frustration foul by Wes. And yep. So Maybe a little acting by that young man from uh, number 10. Yep, the, uh, the man with, should we call him the man with the iron mask? <laughs> his, you're right. His numbers are different. It is, though. it is different. I am very intrigued by that. And I I want to know the story. And to the and to the to the eye, you don't notice it right away because it's the same colors, the same piping. Right. Um, it's got Scots on there in cursive, yeah, but the, the numbers way. are Just different. The numbers are different. Yeah. I think it's kind of I think it's kind of amazing how uh, what guys wear for basketball has kind of gone through like. It's kind of gone through, like, different stages. So, like, in the 90s, everybody wore really baggy shorts. Correct. In the 80s, they wore tight shorts. And right now, you've kind of got the mixture of they're not really baggy, but they're not Larry Bird shorts either. You know no, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, it used to be in the 80s, you didn't want to pick up a quarter you saw on the floor. Yeah. You're afraid. I mean, they wore some, some very um, short shorts back in those days, but then in the... In the 90s, they just got really baggy, and I just I, th I think it's interesting how that goes. You know, um, even when you look at old football jerseys, they had those oh, big, big ugly jerseys pads. that had the huge uh, a a like holes in them. Yeah, and then now the jerseys are like tight and right. almost like super form fitting. They're almost impossible to give get over shoulder pads. Yeah, I uh, I, I agree, and and so it is. Oh, oh we you missed both of them. Yeah. Still a zero-zero game. Yeah, I agree, and I don't know if that's an older jersey, but it is. It is unusual. Maybe, uh, maybe a halftime we'll go down there and uh, ask someone what's going on with that. Is Bellamy? Can we call it Jersey Gate? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep. 
Stokes Bellamy. get a second trip to the line here. Bellamy with a foul. Jersey Gate. I like that. Jersey Gate. Jersey Gate. Eat it, Tom Brady. Yeah. Tom Brady. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, Bellamy does, you know, he have his he has his shorts hiked up there, you know. I guess the it gives a <laughs> But I noticed, though, but I noticed, though, and it seems odd that we're, and Wes misses another one here, seems odd that we're, that we're discussing what they're wearing, but uh, Highland has baggier shorts and Harding's. They t- so they almost have the, with the throwback-looking jerseys, they almost have throwback shorts as yep, well. I know. That's kind of cool. It is. I kind of dig, dig their look. I really do. <laughs> and, and honestly, you, you can never go wrong with red, white, and blue color right. scheme. I mean, you know. Some, oh. Somewhere there's an eagle that just screeched. <laughs> if I thought I could do a decent eagle screech. Ah, nah, not that's, not, not on the mic. That's Yeah, you know, that's terrible. People don't want to hear that at home. Yeah. Jones going to bring the ball up the floor here. Sound like I had indigestion still, there. Still, still 1-0 game. Yeah. Uh, almost like a soccer game broke out here. Hard to believe with three minutes left in this ball game, uh, or three minutes in the ball game, rather. Yeah, it's still oh, he, oh, nice job by Wes. Now, hey, it, speaking of Wes. Didn't he just get some accolades here as of late there, uh, Dr. Cameron? Uh, yeah, I believe he was Athlete of the Month. Athlete, yeah, athlete of, of the Month. month. Yeah, he was and you know what's so cool night. about that? He's going to get a plaque, and they're going to hang it up in that hallway, and if you don't think the kids at Harding High School read those oh, things and oh, look yeah. at them, they do. You know what? Because I looked at him when I was in high school. <laughs> yeah. You're immortal. In fact, do you know who our first uh, Fahey Bank Athlete of the Month was? King, uh, King Mays. And oh, you know what yes. he did? He wrestled. Yeah. And yeah. it was like in the early 80s. Yeah. And do you know, in the history of Fahey Bank Athlete of the Month, there's only been a small handful of four-time winners. And so, and a pretty good number of those reside at Marion Harding High School. Uh, who, we had a four-time. Shantae Dyer. Shantae Dyer. Yep. Um, uh, I believe Fallon Stevens yes. won four. Yes. Jesse Jenkins won four. Jeff Ratliff won four in wrestling. Um, um, oh, um Oh, we had one last year. Um, it, oh, it wasn't Araya, was it? Yeah, it was Araya. I'm yeah. sorry. I was I was drawing a blank there. How could I forget that wonderful young lady who gave so much to Harding basketball over a four-year period? Probably because she didn't wear a different font jersey. That could be it. There was no jersey gate with Miss Araya. It's really, Harding is putting some great pressure on Highland. Uh that they don't really have the ability to get anything going. They're kind of stuck getting the ball around the perimeter and not finding in, any entry passes or anything like that, which, uh, man, I watched the freshman game for a little bit. They have a large young man playing for them, and he would be a great post player eventually. And uh, Boy, Highland could sure use some posts now. They just keep running an emotion offense out of the perimeter. Shot put up. Brick by Brock Church. I like that name. I know. I have a nice Strong range. name. Brock Church. Church. Jones has the ball looking to set up an offense as Long comes out. Long is fourth and rebounding, fifth assist and steals. Key ran with a Key nice, with, makes a nice fadeaway three. jumper. Yeah, that's a good shot there. It gives us a little mid range. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things we're used to seeing him shoot a lot of threes. Oh, yeah. Used to seeing, seeing him shoot a lot of threes. So he does have that mid range. Jump shot ability. Oh, they called Wes. I believe that's his second foul. That's really. Dane Nauman uh, is going to go to line here. He's the only sophomore on their roster, on the varsity roster. Well, Wes is going to be coming out of the game, Coach Cameron. He has two fouls. Uh, you know, here's here's the nice thing. Uh, Alex has, <laughs> right? Uh, Alex has really been able to kind of fill in as a nice void, nice sub role in that position. Uh, when you were gone, actually, Alex started a game. Really? Yes. And it, uh, it so really Harding went tall on that, and it, it, it was nice to watch. It was fun to watch. And they do play off of each other well. So Alex does a good job subbing in in that role as the five man. Jones has the ball in the 45 where Kieran takes that three we're talking about. Off the back nice. of iron, rebound Speaking by Alex. The devil. Gives it out to Riley again. Alex got the rebound. We were just talking about him elevating his game, and he just got the rebound. So, eh, dribbled into the uh, dead spot, tried to find a block pass, wasn't there. Ooh, a little behind the back. A little, 
the professor. Oh my that's goodness! That's an easy foul. Kiran yeah. took a took a elbow to the face. Yeah. Hey, right. so you know how in the past I would always talk about how our our former boys basketball coach, uh, Coach Warstel, who's an amazing guy, great coach. I always used to talk about how he looked like Bill Clinton. I figured out who he Coach feels her pain. I, <laughs> that's pretty good, Bill Clinton. Figured out who Coach Pearson looks like. Rick from Pawn Stars. <laughs> Doesn't he? He, he looks like Rick from Pawn Stars. <laughs> oh! Nice take by my Long. Great take by that young man. And, and uh, yeah, I... Uh, Rick from Pawn Stars. I wonder if you, if you make Coach Pearson laugh really hard if he has that same wheezy laugh. Or if he would say, I got a guy for that. <laughs> Do you want to hang out here? I got to go call for him. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I read a lot of books. And Highland's going to take a timeout. Full, full timeout. Full, what? full timeout. We'll, uh, we'll come. Oh, no, it's a 30-second timeout. Oh, never timeout. mind. That's we'll stick third, around. That's a 30-second. I, I misread the mustache man. So, with, uh, so it is 7-1, to one, even though, uh, folks, I, I wanted to say one thing. I really do kind of apologize that uh, Todd and I just sit here and uh, chew some fat, but that's what friends are for. Eat it, Donna. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't called very much of the basketball game. No, we haven't. But we've done a lot of um, other things. <laughs> and we were even talking about, like, who should be in the Baseball Hall of Fame and all yeah. stuff before and before Rock the game. Hall of Fame. Yeah. And, uh, Waxing poetic, if you will. Yes. So, and Blur song number two is blasting. Holy mackerel. Whew. That's a great song. It is. I remember when that came out in like, yeah. what, 6th, 7th, 8th grade, something like that? Roughly. 7th, 7th, yeah. Somewhere in there. All right. The Scots have only managed one point, and they've gotten that from the charity stripe. Everything else has been That would have to be Brick from City. the charity stripe. Talk. Brick City. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. right. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Thanks, Captain Obvious, because there's no way to score just one point in basketball. It has to be from the charity stripe. It would have to be. So cut me some slack because <laughs> that's okay. No, you're football, a wrestler. wrestling. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I know it. It's, but I love sports and uh, supporting these youngsters. Yeah. So, and and I, and I like to talk, which is why yeah, it's okay. It's we, all right. We try to do a good job at Where these we? games. We try. <laughs> I don't know how well we do, but we try. Pedraza has the ball. Gets it off to Alex in the corner, looking for something, and a lot of motion on the offensive oh, end. And not, nice not a way bad, to be in the dead spot. Pass. Yeah, he was in oh. the dead spot and Pedraza put, foot on the line. Oh, yeah, he really wasn't ready to shoot that, but Riley got it back in there. Tell yeah. you what, Riley Keyran has just said, "All right, folks, that looked get awkward. on my back. I'm that gonna looked, take you to the promise." It land. looked awkward from Pedraza, like he knew his foot was on the line. Right, and, should, and I'm telling you, man, as a three point shooter. That just little things like that. Just that little. Head. You think that little readjustment oh, yes. throws your shot your, off. It gets in your head, and you think about. It. So you think you just take that shot and live with the fact that maybe it's a two, and you just try to make it right. But, honestly, what you try and do is you pull back because you realize you're not in uh, you're not in a set motion to shoot the shot. So yeah, he just kind of forced it, but it worked out. Great Got rebound it. there. Oh, nice behind the back. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that would be Highlands ball. Yep. It pinballed around off some legs in there. Uh, who we got checking in the game? I was there joking the about the soccer game. Jeff Jeff Jones. Yep. In the ball game as Pedraza comes out. Jeff Jones is a six-one guard, and he is a junior. Six-one <laughs> junior. Oh, 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 oh. uh oh! I don't think Long, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I didn't know if Long could dunk. That would have been a good. I would have been pretty sweet though. Great steal, nonetheless. Oh, and and here's that full court press that is it just plagues. gives people headaches. Oh, it man. gives people headaches. Listen, I'm gonna tell you that when Harding upset River Valley in overtime here, that full court press was basically oh, what yeah. won them that ball game. Yep, they just could not. It just frustrated teams and. Wow, a deep shot by Bellman. Eleven Seven. to one. Eleven to one. And how did Highland get that one point? Uh, they they kicked the extra point. So there's <laughs> charity stripe. They they actually rolled out the pin. Hey, I gotta so. tell you, uh, <laughs> the um, <laughs> the um, Highland cheerleaders are doing some really cool like throws and aerial stuff. They're 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 pretty sharp. I was watching them. 
uh, like right before the game, they were uh, doing like when you watch the cheerleading uh, competitions where they like launch the person in the air and yeah. catch them. It's kind of cool, that, man. I mean, look at they are pretty good in sync. That they must have really good insurance that gives you the ability to do that. Look at that! Look at the cuts they make. My goodness. Here we can't even like walk up the stairs at the same time. Uh, it's the struggle is real. No, but uh, and you know whenever you watch cheerleaders and they're really in that that they're 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 like throwing people up in the air. There's that little bit of like nervous pit you get in your oh, stomach yeah. because you're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Tell you what, man, uh, takes a lot of athleticism to do that. Kudos oh, yeah. to those uh, to those young ladies. I know that uh, our, uh, our our one of our gear up counselors here, uh, Kelly Garrett, um, she is a cheerleading instructor and also gymnastics, and a lot of uh, what she's able to teach those young ladies is uh, magnificent. All the back handsprings and all that oh, yeah. stuff. I I'd, could you ever do any of that stuff? Uh, I if, never could. If I if someone threw me off of a eighteen wheel rig, down some steps, maybe I could probably do uh, a full back- court press. <laughs> so he wouldn't he, press that one. I think he just wanted to throw. He, it call, off he called him for the foul, and he just yeah. But you know what though? You know what he did? He went up to him and he apologized. He's yeah, like, he's like, "Hey man, nothing personal." <laughs> he just thought he was going out of bounds, I, and, and he wasn't even real that close. Yeah, and the good old fashioned play of like, I think I'm going to go out of bounds. So as I'm doing, it, I'm just going to turn around and launch the ball at the, <laughs> my opponent. Ooh. Oh man! Oh, if Pedraza would, he could have taken a charge right there, and Alex. Taking the ball down with reckless abandon. Finds Kieran. Kieran probably should drive there. Has him on his hip. Pulls it back out. We're going to run a play. Good idea. Yep. Nothing there. Slow it down it and down. relax. Riley Kieran fakes. Goes to that the charity That was a nice head fake by here. Riley. Was, man. Rebound by Pedraza. Goes back up with an and one. Now, with this shot, he can get how many points? One. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Which is also the same point that you get for beating a pin and kicking an extra point and sitting, hitting a solo home run. Speaking of uh, kicking extra points, how about that football last weekend? It was magnificent. They, they, need, to re- they need to adjust the uh, overtime rules. But if you think about it, in the NFL, the offenses are so good, though. You might have like a 45 overtime game. I, fine. Then, but every team, you, the other team should have – but you could put the once. winning team at a disadvantage in the next week of the playoffs, though. It's they they should. It's the playoffs. It's not the regular season. I don't disagree you know, with you, you know. but also too, if the Bills squib kick it and kill some time. But you know, oh, Nick Hecker in the ball game for Ooh, the Prexies. Yeah. Come back in. It's and good to see young we, Nicholas in there. We had a uh, quite a joyous ending to the JV game. Boy, we did. Park we got to oh we got to give some love to that young man. And listen, <laughs> here's what I love about Park Ride. Park Ride lives a couple couple houses down from me, and that dude is out all the time shooting hoops. And I can't tell you how many times that kid has probably pretended to make the game winning shot in his driveway, and he did it today, and it was awesome. And you know, what was even cooler. Mom and Dad were here. His dad filmed it. Right and, in front of us. <laughs> uh, oh, man, I tell you what, like, I get goosebumps talking about it because to me, that's what's neat about high school sports. I mean, that's what's neat about sports in general, don't get me wrong, but that's just what's neat about high school sports. There's just something very, very special about these youngsters getting this experience because the reality is when this is over for a lot of these kids, they're never going to play organized sports again. Yep. So it's such a, such a, such a, such a special thing for these youngsters to be able to do this. And we realize now how special it is especially in the era of covid and some and I hate saying that the era of covid but how many times you know kids have had opportunities taken away they finally get on the board with. Do, that's their first field goal of the game wow first field goal of the game yeah you're by Brock Church Brock Brock sure take me to the church and and you're right you kind of freeze frame the good and the bads of your sports thing and in and yeah, out. It, and it's nice that he has that memory. That's that. That's when he will remember the rest of his life. Well, and it was funny after he made that shot. You and I started recapping um, as we were shooting the breeze before the game. We were recapping uh, some of our yeah. memories from playing yep. sports. And listen, man, we're we're both in our you know late thirties slash early forties, and we remember those things that happened twenty some years oh, ago. Plus, like it, like it happened yesterday. Like it happened yesterday. Yep. 
I can tell you what I was wearing, even. A jersey. <laughs> I can tell you where I was when it happened. On a field. What did you eat afterwards? I don't even know. Maybe, like, usually, like, usually, like, if it was a football game, there were usually, like, a bagged lunches for us. So, usually, like, a sandwich Ham and sandwich. some oranges. Yeah. Ham sandwich, oranges, and a bag of Lay's. Yep. Yep. Good old Man. good old potato chips. 13 to th- – it, it's kind of a low-scoring game. Not – Harding doesn't have to score a bunch of points. Well, and the reality is, too, it's like Harding has really, truly controlled this ball game, but they still only have a 10-point lead. And as you know, basketball, it could change on a dime just like that. Well, yeah, and I, I'm... It is a game of just bring, runs and lead changes and momentum. Bringing in a football analogy, we saw the Packers last week. They were dominating Absolutely. the 49ers. Couldn't do anything. Then suddenly... Couple of bad plays happen, bang, game lost. So it is one of those things where even though uh, right now you don't have to score points, you you want to you want to make sure you're putting the ball in the hoop and getting some. Oh, that's a tip twenty one thing, and he just couldn't get it in there. That's why you play the game of tip twenty one there. Well, and what the Prexies have to do is just weather. Uh, well, that was a nice move yeah, by that Bellamy young man. The dry, ball did nice not turn. go in, but wow, that was Good a move. nice move by that kid. Way to use the I pip, mean, son. He was out there pirou- pirouetting with moves like Mick Jagger. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> James Brown. Ah, uh, James Brown too, man. Hecker sitting in the corner. Oh, oh I'll won. tell you what, he thought he about it. There's, but th- there's just, just no one wide, and I think he's trying to look for a better shot. Like That's a that, good right pass. There. Nice. Right there. That and that two three zone was good ball movement and good basketball. Two three zone. If you drive to the dead spot, the dead spot transitions to the middle of the paint. That's a good look. Good Tell you finish. what, Marquise Long's having himself a pretty dynamite early ball game here. Yeah, and and he's uh, I mean he's in the top five uh, in quite a few uh, categories, which is Nick nice. Hacker playing great defense. Yes, way to be straight up. Didn't have to jump for anything or make a foul. Jump ball. And jump ball, that will be. Possession arrows should be the Dude, Scots. Uh, yeah. No, it's it's Harding. Oh. Because uh, the Scots started the ball. Right, 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 Second right, 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 right. My fault. Highland, the Scots. You know, I student taught there. Did you really? I did. Was it the old high school, though, right? It was the old one with Sandy Boylan. I'm going to tell you something right now. Their football stadium is pretty dynamite. I mean, like, it's newer. It doesn't have that old school vibe like Harding's has. But, man, their turf is nice. Their home stands are nice. The whole setup over there is really nice. They got a good thing going over there. Ooh, tried to bank that. <laughs> got to give, a, sh- hey. give a shout-out to uh, Highland's uh, head wrestling coach, guy by the name of Adam Gilmore. Adam and I wrestled against each other in high school. Ooh, he was much better than I. <laughs> State qualifier multiple times from Galleon. Beat me all the time, but... He is a dynamite guy. He's a good person, and he's built a pretty solid program there at Highland. Just a, just a good, good man. Wrestling. It's like, a, it's like a weird family. It just is. It's like people never leave the sport either. They just do it forever. Do you know Tom Ryan from Ohio State? Absolutely, sure do. Yeah. Nice guy. Oh, there we go. Rebounded by Pedrazu, pushes up the floor, two on three, decides to pull it back a while wisely. Kind of Ooh. made a weird decision to go up there, dribbles into the dead spot. Stokes got to be careful, though. Don't want to pick up another foul. Okay. Ooh. Nails a nice three. And that, see, this is that 18 fort. So now we're starting to get to that territory where we're starting to, you know, expand the lead a little bit. Uh,. Still kind of dominating things on the defensive end. Oh, they still can't just find the bottom of the bucket. I hope they don't call that on West because that will be number three. Oh, my goodness. Holy cannolis. Holy cannolis. Well, in all honesty, though, it's it's not absolutely dire. They, They clearly have to take him out here, but. 250 left, 18 4 lead. It's not dire straits for you know the Harden, odd so. thing about you know the odd thing about Highland as I'm watching them here. The, they don't the guy, the guy with the weird jersey. Okay, number 10, he does have the weird jersey. But 
They pass the ball well. They're playing pretty good defense. They're 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 getting good shots. They're just not going in. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. But the, de- the defensive pressure by Harding is. I'll give you that. It, it is. But I'm watching a team that doesn't look bad, but somehow they're playing bad with four four points. Ooh, Kieran just can't bring the ball. And not a, not a bad look there by Pedraza. Just couldn't find it. Oh! <laughs> Pedraza doing his best. Dakimbe Matumbo. Not, not in my house. That was not in my house. No, <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dikembe. Dikembe Whoa. Mutombo. Uh-oh. Kieran. I don't think Kieran can dunk, can he? Oh, good. Nobody layup. can lay it up. He can. Way to guard. Way to turn his body to protect the ball. Great job by Kieran. That was a textbook layup, Dr. It Cameron. was. That was that was a good play. Good transition bucket. Oh! And... He and, tried to stop. Well, he tried to stop. Long, long thought he was going to pull up and shoot a three, so he's getting ready to jump. And yeah, <laughs> dinked when he should have dumped, yeah. as I like to say. A good shifty move there by uh, by Brock Church. The Church. Ryder Minnick. That's another sweet name. That is a cool Ryder Minnick. And I'm over here named Todd Scott. <laughs> Our parents could have named us a know. lot cooler, cooler names, names, man. If I was a girl, I was supposed to be Brooklyn. I'm just throwing that out there. Tom. My dad wanted to name. If I was a girl, my dad was going to name me Terry. <laughs> and back in those days, like, I don't even know if they could tell you what your. I mean, I think they could, right? In the '80s, could they tell you what your kid was going to be or not? I don't uh, know. Yeah. Had technology made it that far yet? In like 1981, did the doctor just look? I mean, after I was born, obviously, but like. I don't think they had sonograms at the time to tell you what you were gonna, what you, uh, you know, what child you were gonna have. Right. So I know, I know nowadays it's really, uh, you know, important to do those uh, gender reveals. Oh but yeah, oh yeah. That's uh, people like to do those things. Yep. Either way, back to the ball game here. Pedraza's got the ball, pass it to Stokes. And Stokes the paint. goes up, draws the foul. And, and again, I'm, I think I don't know. I, I I understand what Pearson's trying to do here. He's trying to let him play offensively. Let the kid play. Right. So. You know, it's kind of funny here. If Wes misses the second free throw, he's still in there in the game playing live ball and defensively, and so he's going to have to be smart. And right, basically, if I was Highland, I'd go right at him and say, "I'm going to score because you can't foul me." Well, and really, yeah. that's you're right. I mean, if if Highland wants to neutralize Harding's biggest offensive threat, then you do go at Stokes and you try to get him to foul you. Right. He, it's honestly a lot of the stuff runs through him, whether it's uh, initial or uh, rebounding. Right, wise. a lot right. of stuff runs through him. He is the um, kind of the quarterback, if you will. Yeah. Not to say that there aren't wonderful basketball players out there. I mean, Marquise is playing great. Pedraza is playing great. Riley, um, Kieran. Yeah, it's but it went. Caden Jones is playing oh, magnificent. Correct, but it's just. When you're talking about your front court, right? Uh, it's it is he he drives that. He's basically. akin to your quarterback, right? Yeah. Basically, he's your quarterback. Yeah. And, on and, the field. and uh, you know, it just kind of, it has to run through him through some whether it's screen yep. pass. It does. Oh, well, nice steal! Just talking about that young man. Nice steal, yeah. Jeff Jones, man, great steal. I I thought he was gonna corral it back in and. He got fouled. Um, speaking of that, Stokes is in for Stokes. Alex comes in for Wes. 21 to 6. It's kind of it's, it's kind of been a weird half. It's kind of gone fast, but no like not as much scoring as I thought would be. And can't get it in there on oh, the single wait bonus a free throw. And rebound. Is, wow. And he's going to go back to line because they are still in single bonus. Hayden yeah. Bay's about to get in the ball game. What did you call him in football? What was Hayden's nickname? Um, did you have a nickname for him? Castaway Bays, Montego Bays, um, Tampa Bays. Basically anything with Bay in it. <laughs> what about like B-A-E Bay? Like, what up, Bay? Ah, uh, nah. No, too much? 
Too much. Too much. Too much, but that's okay. That's it, a, it was I, worth a try. I tried. It was worth a try. I, I just put out there, he didn't pick it up. That's, that's, that's okay. okay. That's all right, yep. The words of Tupac, I ain't mad at you. Bellamy brings the ball down the court. Bellamy is a pretty good ball handler. He Gotta is. give that young man credit. And, and honestly, uh, Ryder Minnick was in, in, you know, he had a couple drives in there, and he's still in the game, too. So they have some ball handlers in there, and I think they're trying to find a way to mix up the offense some way to try well, to get something going on the board. And like we said, as odd as it sounds, as unsuccessful offensively as Highland has been, they're still very much in this game, man. They really are. Correct. They're, they're, they not, really they're are. not out of it. By the way, Marquise Long, magnificent tennis shoes. Uh, listen, I commented about those around Christmas time because – one, I think one day he wore red ones, and the other one, day, the other day he wore green ones. Very festive. Yeah, I mean, you put him and Alex next together, and before you know it, the Budweiser uh, Christmas commercial starts with the big horses. Oh yeah, with all the Christmas colors and the yeah. jingle bells. Him. Yeah, true story. So they can't stand right next to each other. Nice shoes, man. The other thing is we haven't we've only had a handful of timeouts. Not very many timeouts. Bellamy puts up three off the mark, and Hecker kind of gets tied up uh, down there. Yeah, doesn't. tied up, but it all worked out. And ooh, does that count? It does doesn't no, uh, it? Yeah, it counts. Yeah, yeah. Didn't know that was one of those ones where that could have went either way. Was he going to call it a charge or a defensive Mark. foul? <laughs> Offensive foul or defensive foul? You know. And uh, Brett yelled out, Mark Jones is long. <laughs> but it's a right. great play by Long. Way to put it in, way to keep chin to the rim. Bellamy passes it off, and shot put up way long by Hankins. Well, and do you think when a team kind of gets a little desperate like that and they just start raining bad threes that – they start to take themselves out of the ball game instead Correct. of sticking to what they're close to, well, because or what they're good at. I you guess you feel like you feel like you're down by a lot, so you feel like you need to score a bunch, so you, you just take bad shots. It's usually right. threes, low percentage. Speaking no of one. threes, Nick oh, Hecker! Nick. Oh, look at it! Did you see? Did you see him do the little shrug, Rating run down <laughs> like manna from yeah. the heavens? Nicholas Hecker, Atta boy, yes, yes, like Marv Albert. Yes, yes, yes. Nick Hecker, baby. D- Dick Vitale. He's uh, he's out for the year. ESPN said he's out for the year. Uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Twenty-six to six, and a couple seconds left. And oh, oh, nice little pass. Oh, 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 oh my! And it's, Alex, uh, that was a great recovery because it sure looked oh. like Dane uh, Newman, Newman there I, had an easy, easy layup. And Alex turned around and was like, whoa, wait I think a it's Nauman. Nauman? Nauman? Okay. Nauman. Certainly don't want to mispronounce Newman, that youngster's Nauman. name. Ramen. Whatever. Nauman, Ramen, Ramen. Lakers at six. All right, folks. 26 to six. Prexy's with a commanding lead, but Scott's. I know it sounds weird to say this, but kind of still in the ball game. And listen, Hang we're around. gonna we're gonna <laughs> stick around here to watch the cheerleaders. Um, we're certainly gonna go quiet here, so you got you folks can uh, enjoy them cheering, and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> oh, there's a little youngster on the floor getting excited too. How about that? All right, folks, your Harding cheerleaders here they are. certification, earning 12 credits for graduation. Students may also earn Lean Six Sigma certification, giving them a credential advantage in the job market. 
However, most importantly, logistics offers transferable life skills including communications, economic forecasting, workflow optimization, general management, and financial planning skills that will make them invaluable to any career they pursue. If you're interested in global logistics, don't hesitate. Talk to your guidance counselor or stop in to see Mr. Ellis in room 245 for more information. Welcome to Harding Telecom Digital Media. Unlike television, print, and radio media, which are all one-way communications, digital media creates an interconnected world of interactive communications that puts you in control of content creation and broadcasting. As a member of Harding Telecom, we have three ways of building your digital media skills. As an underclassman, you can take our semester-long class, Intro to Video Editing, where you'll be introduced to the latest hardware and software in digital media. Learn to create your own content with overlays, special effects, and audio processors. Your content will only be limited by your imagination. Telecom One is a year-long class that introduces you to the world of audio-video broadcast communications. Here you will learn how to operate video hardware and software, design sets, direct and produce events, and expand your editing capabilities broadcasting online and over our public access television channel. You will learn to produce daily news announcements and share your creations throughout our cable television and social media networks. Finally, Telecom 2 is our year-long class available for upperclassmen who have completed the prerequisite Telecom 1 class. Here you will produce and direct your own broadcast events. You will be put in charge of productions and lead other students through the introductory processes of media production. Many of our telecom graduates have gone on to study broadcast media in college and launched careers as television news and weather personalities, Emmy-winning editors for nationally syndicated television shows, and audio production engineers. So don't hesitate to schedule Harding Telecom Digital Media. Talk to your guidance counselor or see Mr. Mullins in room 201. And we are back. Yes, sir, we are. We're back here for a second half. Harding really having their way uh, with the Scots of the University of Highland. And uh, I'm Scott Cameron. we got Todd Schneider here. Absolutely and happy to be here. 26-6. <laughs> to six, Harding really having their way. But, man, you know, Todd, uh, Highland's not really completely out of this. And it's not really secure uh, all the way for Harding yet. Huh? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, it easily, I mean, Highland's down 20 points, and with the way that Harding controlled the first half, it's hard to believe that there's only a 20-point lead, but Highland, really, if they could get some of those shots to fall, they could really find themselves back in this ballgame. Yep, and we are we are kind of waiting for the band to shovel out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ah, gotcha. Got a little bit of a delay here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's like where's the Canada geese? It's over by. It's like over by a Walmart, you know. It's like, oh, here comes all the ducklings. Here comes a pack of wawas. 
And Bellamy has the ball. Starts out, top of the key. Passes off to Nauman and then gives it off to Bellamy. Shoots a long three. Shoveled around, tipped out. It's going to go Harding's way. As I know, West Stokes uh, has three fouls. We forgot to go down and ask about uh, that jersey. We did. About why his jersey is different than everybody else's. So if uh, someone from Highland's watching this game, if they could you know, put in the comments, hey, this young man's jersey is different because, I don't know, you know why. Tell us why. I remember when my brother was in high school. He had a um, different uh, away jersey because it had been lost. <laughs> so, like, on away games, my brother was number six, and on yeah. home games, he was number five. <laughs> it was wild. Sometimes that happens. And that very well could be what's up with uh, Bellamy's jersey. Potentially. West drives the ball in. Oh, it's going to get a nice hand one. And one. Splits the defenders with the contact and did a good job leaning in through that and then also getting the foul with the contact as they will put it up strong. They gave the points to the wrong side there. It happens. We'll get it figured out. It happens. Longtime clock operator, Mr. Jeff Bolinder. Also our announcer, Mr. Coach Brett McCreary, also the assistant athletic director. And Marion History Extraordinaire. Yes. Uh, his Marion History class is magnificent. Can Wes, you imagine how much local history is known between him and Shannon Morris? I'm telling you. Well, and you can't forget retired Marion Harding teacher, Randy Winland. Yep. Randy so. knows so much Marion history. Ooh, Ooh that was a little kind of contact, but little rough there by 32. I understand he was going for the ball, but got a little got a little a uh, little chippy there. We got to get up and go to work tomorrow. Um, tell you what, though, um, any of you youngsters out there who have not, if you're in high school and you're watching this and you. If you haven't signed up for Coach McCreary's class yet, man, please do so. That is a magnificent class for a small little town as we are, almost smack dab in the center of Ohio. There sure is a lot of history in this town. Yeah, my daughter took the class, and she really, really enjoyed it. Learned a lot. She was telling me stuff, so it was good. Long puts the ball out to Kieran, who drives into a dead spot. Kieran, nice. Get rid of Pass. Oh, it's a little bit too hot to handle. and Too hot to handle, yeah. too cold to hold. They call the Ghostbusters in the end control. So, <laughs> that, was, that was Bobby Brown's Ghostbusters yeah. song. Remember that? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> I also remember the boys in the hood are always hard. You're talking trash, going to pull your card. Is that a Bobby Brown lyric, too? Nope, nope. That's, nope. That is uh, it's a, a group we're not going to be able to mention. All right, fair enough. <laughs> It happens. <laughs> All right, Kieran's got the ball, looking to pass it. <laughs> oh, nice rebound by Jones. Hands it off to D. Wes. Is, oh, I thought he was going to drive in there in the middle of that 2-3 zone and really take it to us. But uh, Jones to Pedraza. Pedraza got the ball, drives it. <laughs> Kieran with a three. Oh, oh, that was a great putback by Wes. <laughs> he just had a little bit too much too mustard much on it. Yeah, yep, too much too much sriracha. Too much mustard, if you will. I prefer mustard over ketchup, Todd. Ooh, that, up and over the board. That's yeah. That's kind of an unusual thing that goes Harding's way. You like mustard over ketchup? Oh, oh easily. I, ketchup tastes too sweet to me. Mustard is arguably the most underrated uh, condiment out there. And it looks like... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the... The crowd was a little upset. I don't oh, understand yeah. why. I, I the whole the crowd ruckus. seemed yeah. upset, but I'm like, Harding got the ball. Yeah, I don't I don't. Was understand. there a foul maybe that they thought should have been called? I don't know. I don't know either. Apparently, we missed something, Dr. Cameron. Apparently. And one. Fouling. Ooh. Should be noted, once again, the Prexies still have a 20-point lead, but Wesley Stokes does, in fact, have three fouls with the vast majority of the second half left to play. And... Referees, I think, explaining. Okay, all right. Trying to work some stuff out. I'm not. There's some chaos. Pearson trying to get something on the bench. Their coach talking to the refs. Oh, my goodness. It just gets worse. 
See? <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> Typical Friday night at the University of Marion Harding. First free throw. There we go. Wow. Dunk, 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 knocks dunk. it down. Pedraza, yep. A lot of movement on that ball, a lot of bouncing around, but it made it in there. Good job by that young man. Shooters roll. Off the back of the iron on that one. Practice haven't had much luck tonight with uh, charity stripe, that's for sure. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's been a little, I've kind of stopped keeping track a little bit. My bad. But it has that is uh, that is something that has plagued us from the beginning, and and, and it plagues the girls' program too. And it's uh, it can be a game changer, that's for sure. Hankins has the ball dribbling around like an insane madman. And Hankins not having it with Pedraza. Tell you what, in all the times I've watched the Prexies play this year, um, I've been very impressed by their tenacity on defense. Yes, they do. They are um, – sometimes they get beat back door. Uh, they overcommit. But, yes, their, their defensive prowess, their ability to be athletic on the defensive end, that is – Especially if you run that full court press, it is, it can be styming offensively for the other team. Bellamy, rebound by Kieran, nice give off to Pedraza, who gives a nice little run in, can't get to lay in. But he's going to be head to the line for two. And uh, there's a little game inside the game here with Hankins and Pedraza, I'm telling you. They've been, uh, they've been doing a little bird chirping between the two and Something to keep an eye on. Hopefully nothing nefarious takes place. Well, you know, you get youngsters out there. They're passionate. They're playing the sport. And, uh, you know, they're um, being aggressive. And sometimes those those things happen. Like Andy Griffith said, some, you never know. Maybe he just had a bad day or he got a haircut and has a little hair poking on the back of his neck. It just makes him irritable. Could be it. <laughs> Could be it. We will see. Whoa, no look pass. Almost got away from him. Jones, Jones back to Pedraza. Yep, Pedraza, to Pedraza took a little Yeah, trap. took a couple steps too many. Tell you what, I got. I love the fact that Pep Band's here tonight. Oh, yeah. Even though, even though they did delay the beginning of the second half. <laughs> it is exciting, though. It's great they're here. We have a wonderful band and a wonderful music program here at Marion Harding. Had a little solo and ensemble last weekend. Uh, do believe that the sensational is that's taking place next Tuesday or next uh, Saturday, I believe. Whoa, that guy's been there for a long time. Cade Murda's in there, first time being in there, and I don't think it's next weekend. I think it's the weekend it's after. Weekend. I think it's actually Super Bowl weekend, actually. Oh, I believe. Well, not Super Bowl Sunday. I mean, it's the Saturday before the Super Bowl. I think it is. We're gonna have to look that up, but if you but if you are in town, and you get a chance, come out and support uh, the wonderful uh, musical programs. Not just the Marion City Schools, but a lot of the surrounding areas. Yeah, they put a lot of time to that stuff. It's, they do. Yeah, they uh, do. There's a reason why I believe those youngsters get a gym credit if they do it. Yep. Because I'm telling you, man. We couldn't do that. Stuff. If you can, if you can sing and dance, choreograph dances while wearing really awesome clothes. That's a workout, man. That takes a lot of uh, hand-eye coordination. Didn't you do that in college? I did no such thing. I can't dance. Next Saturday. Is it next Saturday? Uh, next Saturday because okay. the Clear Fork game, boys basketball game, Clear Fork is at Grant. Oh, there we go. So a that, little throwback yeah. there to the old. It is. To the old. Homage to the uh, elders. Marquise Long is up to the charity stripe. Missed the first of a... Two shot. Got the second, though. Second one. I wonder what the percentage is of guys who, when they miss the first shot, they make the second shot. It's actually pretty high. Generally, that's... It, it's it's extremely rare... That somebody that, misses that you, two. That you miss two free throws. Remember when Shane Battier missed two? Yes. To lose the national championship for Duke? Oh, yeah. Shane Battier is probably one of the better college basketball players and I've he, seen. And he, and he had a weird haircut. Who do you think was better? 
Battier or Christian Leitner? We're going to talk about that when we come back. Yep. We're going to take a full timeout. Hear a word from our sponsor. Marion Harding High School Telecom Production. Smart. Buttons, levers, and hammers became apps, computers, and robots. Manufacturing has changed. Marion Harding High School is proud to be part of that change by offering an advanced manufacturing course. Integrated production technologies will introduce you to the exciting career of modern manufacturing through hands-on application of the latest in manufacturing technologies and practices. Don't hesitate with your scheduling. Contact your guidance counselor or Mr. Potcutter in room 249 for more information about launching your manufacturing career. The U.S. Army Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps is one of the largest character development and citizenship programs for youth in the world. Their mission is to promote character and leadership. And we're back at the University of Marion Harding as the Prexies are grilling on a 23-point lead over the Highland Scots. So I never want to put the hay in the barn, but... It's if they were going to make their way back in this ball game, they're going to have to do it starting here. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, yeah, and that doesn't help. That Scott's does not cause. bode well for the Scots. Oh, he's trying. <laughs> he kind of throw, tried to throw up a shot to, in the hopes that he would get a foul yeah, call, and it didn't. That didn't work out. How didn't work for playing. him. So to answer, without a doubt, easily, Christian Leitner better than Shane Battier. Dude, the guy made the freaking dream team. Yeah, I'll give you that. I mean, he did. Now, Grant, he's kind of pushed on there and probably shouldn't have been on it, but he's on the freaking dream team. The greatest team ever assembled in the history of basketball. Uh, was that with a foul? Was that Jones? Yep. Jones. But do you think Christian Leitner was just the, happened to be the best basketball player in 92 when they put together the dream team? Not that he didn't deserve to be on the team, but it was he just the right guy at the right place at the right time? Man. And not that it, he didn't deserve to be. I'm not saying thing. that. You got to remember, that was during the era of the Fab Four for Michigan. Yeah. And he was, he was the Fab Four killer. Yeah. And, I mean. And the Fab Four he was, was he magnificent. Was, he was ahead of it, man. He was ahead of that snake of Duke. And Duke would not be near what it is today. If it wasn't for Christian Leitner. If it weren't Leitner. for Christian Leitner. Speaking of Duke, this is Coach uh, K, Coach Krzyzewski's, uh swan song, if you will. I'll give you five bucks if you can spell Krzyzewski right now on the air. K-R-Y-S-E-C-K-I. Did I catch a niner? Yeah, somewhere. Oh! oh Alex Stokes. Pulls Alex out Nick Stokes. Big three-point bucket. That was Atta nice. That's a great look, great shot, and he caught it right in rhythm and good stroke. As Harding setting in in a 1-3-1 one, one zone, which means Mr. Jones usually put one of your shorter, quicker players in the back on that so they can go corner to corner. Ooh, and that's exactly what oh, opens up easily good hustle by that young man. Highland just couldn't capitalize Number on Number five for Capital. Good hustle by that kid. Let's call him Capital. Hankins. Hankins. Ooh, good cut. Nice good pass. Move. Wow. Wow. And that, that was impressive. I like the 1-3-1 one, one zone. The problem I've I've always had with the one three one zone, you end up getting a lot of holes in the paint, and it it you get a lot of turnovers. Stokes and stuff, again, but man, almost almost had a second tray. One three one, you get a bunch of holes in the paint, and they could team could eat you alive. Uh oh, no, he's not gonna be able to dunk this. But <laughs> just trying. Stokes to, is throwing him up again. He's in the air, so two shots. It's <laughs> kind of catching what was going on here. I was seeing if, oh no, they called it on the floor. Oh wow! Checking in for the Prexies are Pedraza and Jeff Jones. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I get it. Why they called it on the floor? Okay. I mean, everybody lined up at the line though. So. Yeah, I, yeah. I will say this, though. Harding comes out of the stack. I, I, I do believe this has been a pretty well-officiated game. Though. Oh, absolutely, It's been yes. solid officiated yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. 
Stokes. Oh, yeah. Stokes I agree. is just, uh, wow, playing very well tonight, as he is usually ought to do. Highland trailing 36 to 11. Nice post down. Oh, just, yeah. Got to control it. Bellamy throws up three and, oh, I thought that might potentially fall right in. Oh, and oh, I thought he was out of bounds there. No kidding. That's what I thought. That is a large man. Who is that youngster? Number 42. His name is Caden Murta, senior. Good for that kid. Getting some points Senior tonight. offensive lineman for the Highland Scots. Well, I'll tell you what, man. Highland, um, I didn't really get a chance to follow their football team much this year because their football team has to finish out their schedule, and they'll be full members of the MOAC next year. But over the last couple years, they've had some solid football teams. I don't know about this year, though, Coach Cameron. Are you aware of um, how they did on the gridiron this year? I believe they, they made the playoffs, but a lot of teams made the playoffs. A lot of teams made the playoffs. But, so. I mean, they were still I, – I don't recall the uh, exact record, but I believe it was something like a – Seven-ish seven, wins? Seven and three kind of thing, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, seven, three, six, four. Riley Keyran got fouled there. Keyran, a steady presence. And, you know, I'm kind of, kind of looking at the fouls here. Uh, you know, <laughs> Highland Pride feels discouraged. You know, seven fouls to one. Well, kind of like, man, come on. And I got to tell you, if you're a Highland fan right now, here's what you're thinking. Now, notice we said we thought this was a well-officiated game. But Why? Because we haven't had any fouls ah, called on us. Well, now if you're Highland sitting over there, you're thinking that like, how do we have seven fouls and they have one? Well, this is home cooking. This uh, is home cooking. This is home cooking. You know. But our best player also got three fouls. We had a lot of fouls in the first. I'll half give you team, that. So, by the way, Jacob, Mister Goodbar is in the game. <laughs> Good to see that young man in the ball game. Yep, nice to see him in there. Senior and- that doesn't get a lot of PT, but boy, he shows up to practice every day and he works hard. Jacob's the type of guy that makes everybody around him better because he's just that type of young man. Shot from the elbow, short, going to be put up for an and one opportunity. I Ooh. think, I think, I think in a short time in there, Jacob got called for a foul. <laughs> he's looking at Alex Stokes with a big old grin on his face, like, man. Uh. Tell you what, I've known old Jakey uh, Barr since he was a little kid, man. Uh, I've I've done a lot of coaching of youth wrestling over the years, and. Uh, Jacob was uh, he was a cool little kid, man. If you, t- I mean, his his dad's a you know pretty tall guy, but uh, the uh, the little kid that I knew uh, d- like sprung up into this gigantic young man. Good <laughs> good kid though, great kid, pretty they, solid baseball player too. Uh, they were seven and three. Oh, okay. Well, good so for them. They were seven and three. So they've continued. Uh, and they won their first playoff game. So they ended up going eight and four. Wow. So, good for them. Riley Keyran. Jacob Barr trying to get the rebound. Oh, Keyran. Oh, sticks his hand in there and end up, end up the in the fourth. Yeah, we're going to go to the fourth quarter. Harding up by 20 points. We'll be right back. Harding High School Telecom Production. Interactions between types of matter. The study of chemistry opens doors to many careers. Students wanting to become doctors, nurses, physicists, nutritionists, geologists, pharmacists, and of course chemists all study chemistry. At Harding High School, we are proud to offer chemistry as a field of study. So if you have a passion for science, love doing experiments, and want to perfect your analytical and communication skills, please see your guidance counselor or contact Mrs. Williams in room 235 for more information. And we're back, and uh, Todd and I were just talking, uh, coming back here to the beginning of the fourth quarter. You know, Harding, f- uh, their football team, uh, went to the playoffs, and they lost the first game, but to Union Green, who ended up getting really hot and went to the Final Four. 
the state. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you and, know. They, and they and they played a good game in that Final Four game and barely lost. So, yeah. Yeah, Prexy's, Prexy's had a really good year this year in football. The uh, boys' basketball team has been playing really solid. The girls' basketball team has been struggling as of late. But certainly when you look at the games they have down the stretch, I really believe that the gals can certainly finish with a winning record. Ooh, stolen by Long, given to Joe, and boy, 20 seconds in, and it's a 30-second timeout. So, hey, you know, uh, well, John John is over there, so you want to go ahead and tell him what Telecom is? Yeah, absolutely. Telecom is run by, it's a completely run student organization. Obviously, uh, Mr. Mullins is, is, is the teacher, but... In his role as teacher, he acts more as a facilitator. And the wonderful thing is, is like right now there are kids filming this. There are kids making sure these mics get hooked up. And Mr. Mullins is just here as a facilitator. And really these kids are they're getting a lot of amazing, awesome experiences. And not only that, these games, they're being recorded. They're put on YouTube. And they're there for kids to watch later so if i'm a kid i can go back and say hey i filmed that ball game or if i'm you know west stokes i can be like hey man 20 years from now i could be like you know what man i want to watch that one shot i made in that highland yep. game you hey, know so tell your kids about so, it and watch so it. it's really cool and and the reality is speaking of west stokes there he is the reality is because of what marion city schools is able to provide what mr mullins is able to do Everything from kids' Christmas programs to band programs to, um, you know, um, choir programs to basketball games, football games, um, basically a little bit of everything. It's a cornucopia of media. Yes, a little bit of everything. And it's really cool when the kids run the morning announcements at Harding. Um, it's just a really, really, really cool program that nobody else – Riley Key ran with the uh, rebound that absolutely nobody else in a very long radius around us has or even can pretend to have. And really the quality, the quality of the picture, the quality of the sound, it's not like it's some two-bit VHS operation. I mean, it is a legit, real deal, classy product that Mr. Mullins puts out there. And we found that out firsthand when we lost him for a couple weeks in sickness there at the end of the football season. Yeah, We yep. tried really hard to put a good product out there, and we didn't do a very good job. We were like a, uh, we were like a rhinoceros in a bubble, bubble factory. Well... We're like the we're like the roadie they call up to play guitar, only to realize he can't play guitar. Yes, a rhinoceros I, I in a bubble the, factory. I can play bass. That might be <laughs> one of the strangest analogies I've ever heard. A rhinoceros in a bubble factory. <laughs> Stokes, to... Stokes passed to, to Pedraza. Ball goes out of bounds. I've had a long week, Todd. <laughs> rhinoceros in a bubble. I like that though. I've heard bull in a china shop, but never rhinoceros in a bubble factory. <laughs> Stick around. I got more. Uh, Nick Hecker in the ball game. Yeah, and and I agree. It's it is a it's a good opportunity for kids, and yeah, and and you know it's also on our local public television, ten twenty two. Absolutely. And so in Marion on Spectrum, and so yeah, it does a lot of good stuff and gives kids an opportunity, keeps people in the community, shut ins, uh, grandparents, things of that nature, um, or pa where parents are working and stuff. You know? Right. Right. Oh. Right. Well, and it was neat last year that we were actually, because of a lot of the restrictions that were put out there, last year we were actually able to stream these games live. Yes. So to know that people were actually sitting in their homes watching it stream live was, it was, it was really cool, man. Yes. But you really had to be careful because... It's live. You know what Correct. I mean? So it's live. And when something's live, you just have to be very, you know, we're always very cognizant of what we say up here, obviously. Don't get me wrong. But when you're live, you have to you have to be extremely cognizant of what you say. Saying things like, I wonder how they got that one point. Right. Right. And then everyone's like, good Lord, Todd <laughs> Schneider. Or first game of the year last year, dropping a deuce. Well, he made a two-pointer, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> there was no pun intended, but the moment I said it, you started dying laughing, and I'm like, I can't believe I just said that. And I didn't mean She's to. She's dropping just, the deuce. It just happened. It happened. Yeah, you know, it's it's okay. All right. Uh, uh, Highland, brings ball. <laughs> 17 points. Not much to show offensively. Yeah, and oh, oh, Hecker, he wanted to shoot another three, making a big trade he thought about it. in the game. He thought about it. That would have been a Steph Curry kind of range kind of thing right there, so. 40-17 seems pretty well in hand at this point. The formalities shall commence forth. Well, and I got to believe that maybe you're going to see Coach Pearson getting some more youngsters in the ball game, possibly. I, possibly. Yeah, you know, Jacob Barr was able to get some playing time. Nick Hecker doesn't usually get a ton of playing time. I mean, he's getting quite a bit of playing time tonight. So, yeah, I, I agree. I think you're going to see uh, – uh, some opportunity for maybe a couple more guys by the time we get towards the end of the game. And a long oh, shot. there we go. There we go. Put in by nice Brock. Nice shot. Brock. Church. Uh-oh. Gave him a technical. He did? Gave uh, gave her offensive lineman, came in Caden Murda. Gave him a T. He hey. did. Did he, did he forearm shiver him or I something like that? I, I didn't see why. Well... For a technical to be called, it's got to be a serious foul, I would guess, or some egregious act. Yeah, I'm, I, I think he's kind of wondering, like, he doesn't even know what he did. Yeah. I don't know either. Maybe they were just battling down there in the paint, and the ref thought that, you know, that youngster maybe did a little too much. I don't know. Yeah. But once again... We have said that we thought this is a well, you know, ref game, but we've got three fouls to their nine, so Highland, you know, is probably they're probably frustrated. They're probably frustrated. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my. Well, yeah, and technical foul through if technical foul free throws are sometimes the most difficult cuz cuz you're there by yourself. You're there by yourself. Every eye in the house is on you. It's it is an, yeah, I've I've never understood that rule. Well, I'm I'm kind of watching Murda here and he said that Kid was kind of jawing in his ear, so he just kind of let him have it. And okay, yeah, well. like you said, like Andy said, maybe hey, maybe he just got a haircut and it has that little hair bother him on the back of the neck, right? Ooh, Riley throws up a crazy shot. You don't get a half point for hitting the uh, glass. Well, and at this point, you know, Oof. the game is. I don't know. I don't want to jinx this. I'm not going to say anything. Don't do it. We're going to no hitter in the seventh. And See what you did. Dang on it, Todd. I, t- I spoke too soon. Is this a full timeout or half timeout? It's a 30-second 30 30, 30 timeout. Yep, 30-second timeout. Okay, so, you know, maybe Highland's starting to feel like, hey, maybe we have a uh, chance here down 17. Sometimes a technical foul can uh, jazzy up your team. Ugh. Well, so. and if you can start hitting three-pointers, then, you know, anything's possible. One thing I figured out in sports is, uh, especially after last weekend, anything's possible. Oh, you mean we have to go like 60 yards in 30 seconds to try to hit a game-winning field goal? Check. Dude. Check. Dude, that was that was unreal. The, the best weekend of NFL football. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen a weekend like uh, anything like that. That was three of the four were last-second field goals. And in that last game, the, the overtime game, I, uh, unbelievable, man. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, let's not forget the overtime game, even though it was overtime, but it got tied by a last-second field last goal. last-second field goal. It so just, oh, it was amazing. So good. What a time to be alive, as Bob Stone and I would always say. Absolutely. <laughs> Jones looking to drill. Woo! Nice, nice ball movement he by just, Jones. He's trying to keep it moving. Oh. oh he – Okay, then. That's actually a great defensive play okay, by then. Gavin Hankins, who really extended out, and that caused Jones to kind of have to step out more, and he dragged his foot and got called for the travel. Good call by the official. Great play defensively for Highland. And this is going to be interesting to see what happens. We get a little run here from Highland. Okay, you know. Well, and what you don't want to do in a situation like this is you don't want to foul. Because when you foul, you stop the clock, and you basically give them a free chance to make two points. Correct, and it's a 9-4, so honestly, the officials 
might be a little more, whether it's conscious or un- 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 you know, subconscious, yeah. they're going to gonna call maybe a couple more fouls, and that's going to put you in a pickle potentially for the prep season. That was a lot of alliteration, by the way. Potential pe- pickle for the Prexies. A dilly of a pickle, potentially, for the Prexies. That's a real sweet pun there. Ah, uh-huh. ha, ha. You don't say there, Dr. Cameron. All right, let's see if number 32 for the Scots can make the second one. He does not. That's Brock Church. Yeah, Brock Church has really kind of had some, uh, seems like he's one of their better shooters. Uh, in the absence of Jordan Bellamy being on point tonight. So this is such a low scoring game, but it doesn't, it doesn't like, it kind of doesn't feel like it, but it does, but it's, yeah. We've got a timeout by Harding. 30 also second. a 30 second timeout. So we'll stick with you here. Hey, so uh, why do you, so you don't like ketchup, right? Do you like ketchup? I don't dislike it. I just think mustard's underrated. <laughs> what makes you think the mustard has become underrated? I think it's always underrated because I think people are more akin to put ketchup on lots of things like fries and hot dogs and stuff like that. But mustard is one of the – oh, cheerleaders threw, nice. a, threw a gal up in the air there. I just saw it out the corner of my eye. Yeah, like don't, I said, you did, you it know, I was makes hope, me nervous. I was wondering if you were going to say, they, oh, the Highland girls threw up. <laughs> Make me nervous, though. They threw that gal up in the air. Um but as I was saying, though, like, it's just, it's underrated, man. I just, yeah, you know, I like mustard. I, I do I do enjoy a good mustard. I do, too. All right. Spicy brown or just regular yellow? Either or. Yep. Wesley Stokes. There we go. Dropping the first of what will be two shots from the charity stripe. Yeah, I, I don't know the exact percentage of people who missed two free throws, uh, but it is extremely um, rare. It's it's got to be less than ten percent of two shot opportunities. Oh, there we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. I was just gonna I, say there that Pedraza would have had a great bounce pass if he wanted to, but yep, he took it to the I, hole and it was I great. Saw Wes, I, saw, I did too. Yeah. I saw Wes. I'm like, oh, if he sees West jumping up there through the middle, and we could see a dunk. But Brock Church. Oh, putting it up for an and one. Uh, so, wow. Kieran tried to oh, take a charge take there, a charge. kept his feet set, but the problem was that he just clipped him a little bit, so that's why he didn't get the charge. Yeah. He didn't run full on into him. He just clipped him. So, so Yep. Great play by Brock Church. He's uh, He's been doing a lot for the and, Scots here lately. Oh, okay. Well, that would have been good for – oh, whoa. Got a collision of flesh. <laughs> we got a foul. And what was what what is what was kind of been a game that's kind of run smooth has gotten really choppy here it as is. Highland is kind of They're trying to they're, they're not trying go- to find a way. Yeah, they're not going away, you know. They're not going away. They're 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 very much clawing to stay in this ball game. They are uh, they're playing like true Scotsmen. Oh, and we got to make those. You're a, are you Germanic, sir? Schneider, S C H. Uh, what I am third generation. My great grandfather was born in Germany, so my granddad was first, my dad was second, uh, I'm third and my children are fourth. Second of that. There we go. Cameron, is that Irish? Probably a Mick Cameron on it at one did time. Did you did you say I'm Irish? Scottish? It's clear I'm Scottish. Cameron actually is Gaelic for a crooked nose. I did not know that. It, it is. Schneider is German for to tailor. To schneiden means to sew. So Schneider were sewers or tailors, if you will. So if there was ever a Schneider Cameron wedding, it'd be a a sewer of crooked noses. Very much so, sir. Sounds like Texas Chainsaw Massacre kind of stuff right it, there. It very well could be. Long getting double teams. They will get the ball away. Highland's really playing very aggressively to try and claw their way into this game. They kind of sense they're not quite out of this. West puts it up short and nice long rebound. gets fouled. Way to be nice there, Mr. Long. by Marquise. Yeah, great that effort. Was nice. That was a great effort play. Well, you know, it's, you know, it's funny. At the beginning of this period, the fourth quarter, rather, we were talking about 
how Coach is probably going to get some youngsters in the ball game, and then Highland uh, just and Highland, starts, Highland had other thoughts. They did. Oh goodness gracious, the charity stripe is being uncharitable to us tonight. I got to believe though that shooting. Mm. A free throw, regardless of the situation, it's got to be nerve-wracking. I just, you know, like here's the thing: if you're if you're miss if you take a shot, and you've got a bunch of people around you, and you're driving the hoop and you miss it, okay, cool, you got a bunch of interference there. But when you're standing at a line with a gift, it's all muscle memory, and you man. miss it, man. I just, it's all muscle memory. I I I have a, a, a an amazing amount of respect for basketball players because I don't know if I could do that. It's all muscle memory. Oh! oh. oh That's no. out of bounds, it, yeah. though, because it, it, it hit the... It hit uh, the little strap. Hit the wire. Yep. And Coach is encouraging the Scotsman to come up and full do court. a full court trap press. And Pedraza gets it off. Ooh, nice. very aggressive. And finding a hole, and there's a foul, reach around foul. Number so he will number number ten got a little rough with his foul there. Number thirty two uh, was up. and Jeff Jones is gonna get hit with a technical foul. Oh, because he probably said something after right, he yeah, got he fouled. Said, he said something. Well and one's a one's a T. So So we're going to see two shots by for Jones. By Jones, and we're going to go down there, and we're going to see two shots and the ball for the Scots. So, two. So he teed them both up. No, no, no. He didn't tee them both up. This is a personal foul. But whenever you have a personal and technical foul happen at the same time, no one stands at the line for any of them. Oh, there's no I, point. I didn't know that. There's no point. There's no need to rebound. So no one ever goes to the block. Gotcha. He makes one of two, and he's gonna. He's gonna sit out here, getting subbed out in four, and he has to wait until these shots are taken. And Brock Church lays on the holiness, and he bricks it. I don't know if ever it was seen two technicals like in that. In a game? Back to, no, just back-to-back. Back no, that, like that's it. It wasn't back-to-back. Back. It wasn't two technicals. Okay. That was a personal foul. The one down here was a personal foul that Jones shot the free throws for. But whenever you have a personal foul and a technical foul, there's no need there's to, no need to rebound, rebound because for, the ball's going to go gonna, back down the other way. Because you're going to have to go down and yeah. shoot the technicals. All right. So you just I, I, I completely yeah. understand that now. Oh, I've seen two technicals back to I've seen three. I've seen three technicals. Bang, bang, bang. Uh-oh. 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 Uh, and Marquis Long put laser. But you in. know what, though? I like that. I was hoping because he, he could have dunked, but he's like, you know what? Nope. I'm just going to go with the simple I was layup. hoping he was going to bank that off for uh, Wes. That would have been pretty sweet. Oh, like a bank dunk? Yeah. Ooh. Tell you what, Brock Church is is has has woken up, and he is not going to let the Scots go no, quietly. It's, it's, even though it's an 18-point game, and it's a full timeout, we're going to yep. take a little break here. We'll be right back. Harding High School Telecom Production. Yes, sir.
And we're back. Had some kids checking the ball game. We have Jacob Barr in the ball game. And we got an all new five. Number 33, Van Dutton. We got an all new five. Oh, no, Bays has been in. Heckler's been. But Bays has been in. Van Dutton's in the a, ball game a, for the line first change. time. It was a line change for sure. So. We also got 25 in the ball game. Uh, we don't. He's it's, it's JV. Oh 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 oh! No, I, no, that's not still not. Ty- Number twenty-five. Taiwan Butler. Is it Taiwan? Yeah. Is, is it six Ty- foot. I, 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 are you sure? Twenty-five. We're gonna go with that. Six foot tall freshman. Taiwan Butler. If it's not you, we apologize. But he looks six foot, so I think that's him. Taiwan Butler. Nick Hecker to the line misses the first of two. Good follow through by Nick. Want to wish good luck to our wrestlers this weekend, wrestling at Pleasant and the Sally George. A very uh, great, classy tournament put on by our neighbors in uh, Spartanville. Neighbors to the south. Our neighbors to the south. Ooh, tell me. Kind of, man, he is. Uh, Jacob Barr managed to pick up two fouls in the short time he's been in the ball game. <laughs> he's just grinning ear to ear about it. He loves it. Like, well, I don't even know what I did. <laughs> Jacob had a great football season this year. He did. Once again, good to see senior Hayden Bays in the ball game as well. Nick Hager with a nice box out down low. I'm still mystified about the jersey. I can't let it go, Todd. Number 10. Can't let it go. Jersey gate. Like Weezer said, don't let go. Yeah, well, you know, it happens. There we go. Just like that, you know, I mean. Highland is. It, it, they're, they're, it's, it, it, listen, if it was 49, 30, 42, it would be different. But they're not shutting down factory. I mean, they're going full court press. They're not just going to lay down. Dutton gets the ball. Then. And Dutton takes down. the ball up. Cross court to Bays. Bays wisely pulls out. Bays to Butler. Jacob down Barr. The bar. <laughs> Jacob Barr on the score sheet. Yeah. Good for that young man. The crowd loves that. The fans love that. Kids love that. It's good stuff seeing that. You know, and listen, man, and all the, the teammates, they love to see they love to see their teammates be successful. You know, what's not to love about that? Kid doesn't get that much playing time. Get him Nick. in there. Oh. Ooh. One by Bellamy. And- nice to see Butler, a freshman in the ball game, though. Props to that youngster. You're going to feel real salty if that's not really him. Well, I hope it's him. Because I know that, uh, you know, if he gets in tonight, this may be a game that he watches years from now. So That's true. Certainly hope that is that young man. If the roster is correct, that is Taiwan Butler. <laughs> All right, 52 to 32. I think the hay is in the barn at this point. Oh, and uh, good effort by Hayden Bays. Going after the loose ball after the uh, botched rebound. And and Prexies are going to end up with the ball. So nice job effort play by Hayden Bays yeah. there. Kudos to that young man. 149 left in the game. Oh, Jacob Barr. Oop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jacob maybe thought about a three there for a second. Garrett Fitzpatrick was trying to. Trying to get some uh, action there on him. and Butler doing the good old-fashioned. Uh... Oh, 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 and he oh, takes it to I the hole. Charge. He got a charge. Oh, okay. Yeah, got a charge. Took a I charge. thought Butler was kind of stalling there a Rock little bit. Church. Doing the, uh, a charge. Doing the old uh, water boy red bow U defense <laughs> where they just took a knee to keep the ball away from Bobby Boucher. You remember that from the water boy? <laughs> yes. The old Red Bow U defense. <laughs> oh, and Bar. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Tell you what. Brock Church is. Brock Church has taken everyone to church he, tonight. He, he has shot the lights out at this point. Goodness gracious. I have 35 points. He probably has half of them. I would be willing to bet that is probably the case. Full Mr. time Cameron. full time out. We're going to take a little break here and then we'll be back. For Absolutely. Carry out or delivery. 
come to the historic OK Cafe located at 734 East Center Street, Marion made for over 80 years. Manufacturing has changed. There was a time when people would spend countless hours pushing buttons, pulling levers, and swinging hammers. One day, things began to change. One day, things became smart. Buttons, levers, and hammers became apps, computers, and robots. Manufacturing has changed. Marion Harding High School is proud to be part of that change by offering an advanced manufacturing course. Integrated production technologies will introduce you to the exciting career of... We're back. Van Dutton pulls a Matthew Stafford. Oh, please shoot that from the corner. Oh. <laughs> Jacob Barr puts it in again. Oh, my goodness. The boys got four points. <laughs> and his teammates are excited oh, for him. Oh, man. That's great. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Man, Bellamy's, he's finally waking up, too. Gooey, gooey, 16-point lead under one minute. And that's going to go back to the Scots. <laughs> Coach Pearson's kind of going down the bench like, hey, man, what the heck am I going to do here? Uh, what the heck's going on? Uh, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> that would have been nice. That would have been thunderous. I would have enjoyed that one yes. very much, even if it was the other Bar. team. Oh. 45 seconds left. So this takes the Prexies. This W takes them to what, uh, Coach Cameron? Uh, they are going to be 10-5 and five overall and 8-2 and two in conference. So, and they got a date with Marysville, at Marysville coming well, up. Well, and I was looking at Marysville's uh, record, and it hasn't been, it's not real good. But there's some really, really, really good basketball in the oh, OCC. Oh, the OCC is. So, I, I don't want people to look at Marysville's record and think that's a give me for the Prexies, yeah, especially with the Prexies having to play there. Delaware, Big Walnut was a, a 500 team. and Oh, there you go. Ta. The 500 teams that we've played from the OCC have given us fits. So it, it's a good conference. It's deep. So you never know. Oh, he's trying to throw it down again. He's trying to. He wants to humiliate Jacob Barr. <laughs> and Barr is just laughing still. <laughs> oh, 20, 23.8 seconds I love that left. kid. I had him in HQ <laughs> for a couple years and. Oh, man. Good young man. <laughs> He's so good-natured, man. He's happy-go-lucky. Who was number 13 there for the Scots who was trying to bring down the dunk? Garrett Fitzpatrick, senior forward. Oh. It makes two of them. And Highland. Hey, Nauman's coming back in. Do you hear that? They said Nauman. Nauman? Not so Nauman like ramen. Nauman ramen. I think I said Newman at first, right? He did say Newman, like Paul Newman. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Going to be a three put up by, and that's going to be short. Bar at with this a nice point, rebound. Listen, I'm, I'm never going to tell them to quit playing, but at this point, there's no need to foul. Oh, and people want these kids to shoot threes. Oh. They easily could have caught a, time, a yeah, foul there. Yeah, that's all right. But they Continue. did. All right, folks, the Prexies, 57 to 40. Big winners over the Scots of Highland. They go 10 to 5. Uh, they're not 10 to 5. They're 10 and 5 is what I meant to say. Your thoughts on the ball game before we call it a night, Coach Cameron? You know, it's what we thought. That's what I thought was going to take place. Probably a solid victory by the Prexies. Uh, they really, their defense was just too much, too athletic for Highland, even though, Highland really got hot there at the end. If they didn't, this would be a much wider version of a uh, victory uh, than it was. Well, and the thing is, I don't know if Highland shot that bad or the Prexies just played defense that well. Yeah, Maybe correct. a little bit of both. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of both. But kudos to the Prexies. And, uh, when are we going to be back here, uh, John? John, when are we coming back? Uh, when, when do we have the next game here? Next, so next Saturday is it? So next Saturday at Grant, 
The boys play Clear Fork at Grant. Again, that's different. It won't be at the University of Marion Harding. It will be at Grant Middle School. Folks, hey, Todd, I always love vet calling games with you. It's good to be back, Mr. Cameron. So. I appreciate you carrying the baton uh, this year. <laughs> and uh, as always, stay safe, everybody. Good night, and uh, go Prexies, right? Absolutely. Go Prexies.